just 24 months ago. This plant was commissioned to produce toiletries, mainly for export. It's one of three factories belonging to local manufacturer Bolas, operating in Lagos. But today, the plant is quiet and no production is taking place. More than a thousand employees have been asked to stay home. The shutdown isn't due to a technical problem. Rather, there's no gas to power the turbines that supply the plant with electricity. The company says it just can't afford the high prices. Between May and uh, uh, this time, we have an increase just like that, about 65%. And it keeps increasing, keep changing every month. And that has been a problem in planning production. The market has collapsed, uh, both the internal market and the uh, outside market. So we're not able to meet, we're not able to export, we're not able to sell here, just because the price increase cannot be borne by the consumers. Manufacturers say locally, gas costs about three times the international average, and they have to pay in dollars. We have an economy run by Naira. Why should you price it in dollar? It's not, it's, not, it's, it's not done. So let's price our gas that is produced here in Naira. Let's produce our product in Naira. Let's sell our product in Naira. Nigeria's Manufacturers Association wants the government to weigh in on the matter, to not only ensure the price of gas is lowered, but also to compel suppliers to accept payments in Naira. The Senate and House Committee on Gas should please intervene, as was done in the past by their predecessors, to prevent a possible collapse of the economy and manufacturing sector in particular. It's a tough time for manufacturing in Nigeria. Access to foreign exchange to procure raw materials is almost impossible. Many manufacturers had installed gas-powered turbines to overcome the erratic electricity supply, a solution that's now become a bigger challenge. It's unbearable. You can't just survive. There's no investor that can, uh, can uh, invest in this place. Nigeria has the largest gas reserves on the continent, but much of it is untapped and a substantial amount wasted through flaring. Now, disruptions in the Niger Delta region of the country by militants who are fighting for resource control has led to severe scarcity of gas. The situation is now having a knock-on effect on local manufacturers. Now, this factory will remain short, and if something isn't done about the dire gas situation, management says it may have to close shop permanently. Deji Batmos, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.